grow down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods... Hello! Welcome to my channel. I am Malin, Miss Kitten Heart. And um, today I thought I'd uh, talk you through what I am planning to do in my kitchen. I think it is time uh, to do something new at home. I've had this dark decor for three or four years or something and it is um, I'm in the mood for change. I want to bring in more color and more light. So I am uh, I'm planning to redo a lot in my home. And uh, my uh, I have uh, the the most uh, detailed plan for my kitchen, so I thought I'd uh, walk you through my kitchen, talk about what I have um, what I'm meaning to do, what I'm hoping to do, and uh, yeah, this is something it won't, I won't do it soon because I have to wait for, I have to wait to find the things I'm looking for for super cheap because I am again doing a super cheap renovation. Um, as close to free as possible, even though it won't be free, but super, super cheap. Uh, last time I painted and wallpapered my entire house uh, for about 300, 350 dollars, euros. So uh, I hope to, to be able to do it equal cheap and hopefully even cheaper. So. Um, uh, let's have a look at what my plans are and um, after this I thought I'd show you my uh, uh, plate collection because it is uh, I think I have a lot of nice place to look plates to look at so I thought I'd show you um, time to turn you around I have someone here, a little girl who is absolutely bored because it's too cold to take longer walks. So she is absolutely tormenting the cats. They are super, super sweet and super nice. So they don't say anything. They just let her have her way until she becomes too annoying. And actually they think she's pretty fun too, I think. They do enjoy playing with her for a bit, but she is a mess, a pain in the butt. See, I have tea steeping, so I have to remove that before it is too strong. Okay, let's start over here. See, this is... This is not even super messy. This is looking pretty okay. Like there are some magazines that are going to uh, recycling on Friday. That bag, that uh, paper bag is yarn I'm putting up on Facebook. And this this is the joy of my life. At the moment, I have my sewing machine back. Uh, it's been broken for a couple of years. And then, for almost a year and a half ago, I... Um, I... Um, had it... I left it for repairs. And then... I couldn't afford to, to collect it. And uh, this week, I sold a couple of pain paintings. And the money for the paintings... I uh, used to get my sewing machine. So now I am really looking forward to sewing again. I haven't been able to sew for real for for years, so many years. I had a free 
uh, a sewing machine, an old sewing machi machine I found free on Facebook, but it was so bad it was almost as bad as not having a sewing machine at all. So now I can make new curtains and I can make napkins and placemats and clothes and stuff. But yeah, my kitchen. So this is what I have now. It is dark, dark blue with a dark green trim. And I still think it's really, really pretty and it is so cozy. But I want light, I want color, I want happy, bright color. If you have a look at my old um, house tours, uh, when I first moved into the house, my kitchen was uh, white and yellow. And here goes the fan. And it was so pretty. Uh, now I have found wallpaper, new wallpaper. And I will show you a picture of that here. And it's white with rain, thin, narrow rainbow stripes. So I will do that wallpaper on my walls all over. And into that part of the kitchen too. And all the woodwork. A bit of paneling. Here you can see the green and the blue. Uh, all the panels and around the doors and around the windows will be in a color from, from my uh, wallpaper. So blue or pink or green or yellow. And I am leaning towards yellow. If you haven't seen uh, uh, Christine McConnell's uh, yellow and white kitchen have a look I will link it below and you will see I'm thinking yellow with the predominantly white uh, wallpaper it will it would look so so pretty so that is my plan with the rainbow uh, pinstripe wallpaper and a brightly co bright colored woodwork and eventually but it won't be soon I am going to do a chessboard uh, floor I think black and white probably because I can't decide hey Alice oh well, that's Alice I can't decide on what else to do with the colors and black and white is cheapest cheapest as well because then you can just buy buy it by the meter and if you do different colors you have to do one square at a time and it will cost more but it will be would be easier to 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 uh, put down so yeah i would love to remove this wall but it won't work because if I do what I had planned to do to turn this round and have it under my window and then have uh, the stove underneath my string shelf I won't have any room for a table because my table that was a dog. I'm, I almost fell over the dog. Then my table would be like here, right uh, at the door. So that won't work. Um, this is what I did uh, la last week. This was uh, painted the same color as the wall. You can see where it hadn't dried completely when I hung it before. This was dark blue before. And I wanted to add more light and color. So I painted it white and I painted the rainbow pattern. And then the spice yards, the lids were just white. So I used the washi tape and added some color. 
um, in here. Oh, that's Isa, my new cat. Oh, she's so pretty. She's an old girl. She's 15 this summer. She's so pretty, and she is the rowdiest of the bunch. She, she's so playful. So yeah, this is my second half of my kitchen. It's super strange, my kitchen, with part of it here and part of it there. Yeah. Um, here I plan to remove the upper cabinets. I want open shelves, so the cabinets are going to be gone. So I will wall wallpaper with a rainbow pinstripe all the way from the counter to up to the um, ceiling. And actually, this is contact paper. Uh, this plastic uh, paper and uh, it's fun and it would look really really nice with a new wallpaper but it I've had it for a few years I've had it for five years I think you can see it's really really worn and it's starting to um, have some nicks and yeah, it's time to exchange it for something else and I think I would do uh, contact paper next time too because it's not tons of work and it's not a lot of money and it's lost for five years and still looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, I will paint this uh, plate rack white as well. I haven't, I don't know what, what to put up there so I haven't put up anything but I have some of my Muppet Show mugs just to add some color and Hasse, go ner. They aren't allowed to be on the table. Yeah so uh, cabinets, cupboards will be gone and this is my pantry. It's just an IKEA bill shelf that I have wallpapered. I have shown you that before. And then a little teak shelf that I found at the recycling plant for free. And then a little library shelf for my cookbooks. And in that bag I have onions that I will uh, plant this spring. But this is just temporary solution. What I am looking for is uh, like a big uh, cupboard with uh, like doors at the bottom and uh, a glass vitrine at the top to have as my pantry and to store um, some of my uh, ceramics and, and pottery and stuff. So I want to find... See, I have room for a pretty big shelf here. So I want to find something to, to put here. So before I can do anything, before I can wallpaper anything, um, which is good because I won't be able to get uh, the wallpaper up to me for a while. Um, it's in the southern part of Sweden uh, where my friend lives. So when she or her family is coming up here next time, she'll bring along the wallpaper. But uh, until then, and because of Corona, it can be a while. So. Uh, First part of the plan is, yeah, the first I can do is I have a bucket of white primer so I can start on the woodworks. So that is my first thing to do. And then I can 
uh, figure out what to do with those. And I do have a bucket of cheap white paint. And I think I will have to paint the walls white first. At least one coat or two. So the dark blue won't shine through the, the wallpaper. But after the priming, uh, then first I need to do is find a pantry. And uh, when the pantry is in place, when uh, I hopefully have been able to put some of the some of my vases away and some of my ceramics away then the next step is to find shelves to put on the wall shelves and brackets and then the next step is to get rid of the upper cabinets and the plan is to sell them cheap and the buyer gets to take them down and after that it's painting the woodwork time it's time to paint the woodwork after that and after that again it is wallpaper time so this won't happen in a day or in a week or in a month this will be hopefully this summer or something i will uh, you will be able to see the difference well you will be able to see the difference sooner because everything will be white and boring for quite some time but besides that things will be getting into place in the summer hopefully or this autumn uh, yeah, I want to find a new table as well and two more of those chairs. I have two chairs. I had two wicker chairs, but I sold them. I want to find two more of those chairs and I want a new table. Yeah. Um, she's having fun with him. So... Woo! Yo, I just up today. I'm telling on you. So that is my plans. Um, so since I enjoy watching other people's collections of tableware and kitchen stuff and ceramics and I, I, I like watching collections. Uh, and I have quite a bit of um, tableware. I thought I'd uh, try to do a quick view, uh, look through it all. I have uh, sort of three piles. This is my uh, boho uh, retro 70s ceramics uh, pile. This is my uh, black transfer wear pile. And here on the edge is my more colorful pile. And uh, you can see what has been the easiest one to find at thrift stores and uh, which ones that I have been having troubles finding uh, stuff. So uh, let's see, I'm moving this here to the boho. Sorry about that. Um, this is the boho uh, retro pile. Um, we are hearing the, the fan of the heater going on. I, I have tried to turn it down, but yeah. Um, I have lots of odd plates because what I like to do is uh, to uh, have odd uh, plates to combine with each other. For me, it's... Uh, of course it's about the single uh, pretty plate but it's also about how they look combined together i love uh, a beautiful set table which is uh, somewhat ironic since i never have company over and i eat 
in the living room on the couch in front of the computer. So I never ever set tables, but uh, that is uh, my thoughts when I uh, get uh, plates, tableware. I like how nice don't they look together. They, they are the same. Um, they are from Churchill and Stonecast Range, England. Homespun. Uh, so they are the same brand which from the same time so yeah they go so they go really really well so yeah but why what i meant to say what i mo most of them i have only one some i have some i have a few of the same ones so um that's the the story about my piles of different plates so this is one of my favorite patterns. So this is, as I said, this is uh, English homespun Churchill Stonecast Range, England, called Wild Strawberry. Uh, there is one very similar called Cherry Ripe that I hope to find too, and I also hope to find uh, more sizes of these plates because I only have this little one. And I have four of this. And somehow it's so much easier to find the small salad or dessert plates than it is to find uh, large plates or uh, bowls. I would like to find some more bowl-like uh, shaped plates, but yeah, they are hard to find. This is by... Oh, so hard to see. It's Biltons, England, and they are one of my favorite um, favorite ones, Biltons. So I got this one, two of those, and I have two of those, and I have the one bowl to go with that one. I have one of this. This is also Biltons. That one's shows better. The Biltons from the 70s, I think. Six, six, oh, 70s, I think. They have so many beautiful patterns. This is. Bavaria. I only got one. And this, I haven't really decided do I like it, don't I like it. It is made in Italy, but I like it well enough to keep it. And then this I really, really like. It is Swedish from the factory Höganäs. They really remind me of uh, the plates from uh, the brand that does uh, pots and pans and uh, ovenware and oh I lost the name. Uh, Le Creuset. Le Creuset. Le Creuset. I will write it. It reminds me of those. But this is of course a lot cheaper. I think it's really really pretty. It's one of my favorites. And this is from a Swedish... I don't know what this. I think it's Gabriel or Gie. But I think it's Swedish. It's really really pretty. It's like waffles. This little, I have a feeling this is meant to be just hung on the wall. I use it for cookies or something, and it is it is Finnish from Finland. It's really nice. I think it's hand painted. It's really pretty. And then this is so pretty too. 
with its scalloped edge and the floral pattern. And this is made in Poland. And then this I have three of. This is you can see it. Gabriel Sweden. I am thinking about selling these. I have so many of the smaller plates. And then uh, this little, these little bowls. I love sushi. I make sushi occasionally. And then these are great for soy sauce and stuff, or other sauces. So this is hand thrown by someone, or yeah, handmade by someone. And these two as well. And I think the glaze is super, super pretty. Like this one. It almost reminds me of uh, fossil, fossils. Fossil. Yeah, when when you see the stones with the fossil patterns, fossils. Yeah, it's so pretty. And then this is also one of my favorites. I have no idea where it's from. I would like to be able to find more of these, but I have no idea what to look for. And then the dinner plates. This again is Homespun Churchill Stonecast Range, England. It's just a plain one, but I use it a lot. And this is Norwegian Porsgrund. I use this for sushi. It have a Japanese feeling, I think. And I love, 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 love these. I got three of those because they are so pretty. They are English. Barrett's of Staffordshire, England. I have this. This is super flat, almost like a tray. And I don't know what it is. And then we have the deep dishes. This from Biltons is a favorite. Then I have two of these, also built -ins. Then I have one of these. When I bought it, I was really considering it. Do I really want this? Do I like it? But this is one I'm reaching for the most. So it was a good purchase. This is from Swedish Gävle, called Marta, hand-painted, it says. And this is a nice one, it's really thick and heavy, it feels very, very sturdy. And it is from Norway, Stavanger Plint. This is, see this is dark blue, it's hard to see, from Arabia, Finland. And this is a fun one, Mollhaus, I think that may be mean, that should mean it's English I think. But it's nice, it's a fun one. 
and then I am moving you again. I have three of so this one. Now we are heading into black transfer wear. They are from Czechoslovakia. And I'm not loving these. I think I will be selling those. Only I I uh, am keeping them because I have had a hard time finding um, black transfer wear. Both bowls and, bowls and dishes and plates and uh, they are hard to find. Like this I have only one cup. Bristol. New England crowned to Carol. So I think I really like this pattern. I would like to find some uh, tableware in this pattern. And this is really, really pretty. This is English. And this is 200 years old. This is from 1820. Uh, it, it has some cracks and uh, discolorations and I don't dare to use it. I mean it has survived 200 years. I'm afraid I will break it. These I thought I would collect the entire uh, china set with this pattern. I think it's so beautiful but uh, they are hard to find. They are from Myatt and Sun called Apple Time. They come in this black, which is the one I like the most, and they come in black with uh, colored parts. Which I have a bigger plate with that. And they come in blue and red too, I think. But yeah, so hard to find. So I have four of these because I have a broken one. Then I have this one. And this is from Swedish Gustavsberg. And this is someone didn't wash it properly. And I don't think it was me because I haven't used it. And this is from the 1860s or, 60s or something, I think. 1860s, 1880s. It's about 150 years old. And it is, yeah, it's a little bit of, uh, this is the only thing that's not perfect. It's almost perfect and it's 150 years old. So that is amazing. And this is Norwegian. From Feier Egersund. And this is about the same age, 150 years old. Absolutely insane how they have managed to stay in such good condition, such good shape. Then I have this one, and this one is from 1976, yeah, to commemorate the 21st Olympiad in Montreal, Canada, 1976 which would and you may be able to hear my dog going I have a friend she's from Montreal so I thought that was um, a nice coincidence finding the plate and then this is the apple thyme plate but with the colored bits and I recently found this and it's also from Mayet and Sun but this is called Bermuda 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 and I wish it was black and not brown but it goes it goes well together anyway and then have these small 
side dish plates. This is also Jävle Sweden. It's actually kind of a good sized plate. Then I have this one, I have another one with this the same as the soup plates. And again these I am thinking about selling those. Then I have this. Grindley, England. And I have a picture too. Like this. And then this one. from Gustavsberg, which is Swedish. And I almost forgot that I had that one. That is actually a good one for like, having fries and something like that. And then we are moving on to this, my colorful pile. The ones, one that I have I'm having the most problems uh, finding dishes for this pile. Um, so, yeah. This is, I don't remember, I think it's Schum Schumburg or something. It's German, I think. This is what I usually grab when I am uh, having a cookie or two. It is, I don't know if it's really pretty or really ugly, but it's fun. It's colorful and nice. These belong to my grandmother, so I got them when she passed. Made in Finland. I have three of these. And these are my latest thrift find uh, two of these and two of these I got them when I was in the mood to add some color to my cupboard and uh, again they are really pretty but um, they work really well with my, ha my house as it is but I don't know how it will work they are a bit too Oh, that is my lunch, the frozen pizza in the oven. I don't think they will work with the rainbow colors that I am going to do over my kitchen in. So I'll see if I will keep them or if I will sell them. There. It's from Swedish Uppsala Ekeby. You can barely see the Ekeby. It's nice. And these I really, really love. I only have one. They come with different flowers. They're from Swedish Bo Fajans. And I would love a set of these with the different colors. And I'm doing the, the doil. Oops. To protect them. And then these are my favorites I think. They are from Peep Studio and I would love to find more uh, with this pattern. Um, a teapot is the dream to find. But they are super hard to find. They don't make them anymore. I have six these with the stripes. Then I have one all red because I got this by accident. When I bought the six ones, they send along one of these instead of uh, one of the striped ones. So I have six striped ones and one red. And these are basically the only ones I have bought. 
factory new. These I thrifted uh, last summer uh, from a friend. They are gorgeous. They are French faience. They are from the end of the 1800s, so they are over 100 years old, like 130 years old or something. I got these thinking I need to find a pattern that I can uh, collect more than one and two uh, plates from. So I needed to find something I could find and collect and then I found these and yeah, I can't find any more of those. So that is so typical of me to have a whole bunch of piles, uh, a whole bunch of plates I want to find more from and I can't. But this is like what I'm talking about. Look how pretty these are together. They look beautiful. And then I have, if I wanted to add a teacup, if I am doing a tea party, then I have these really, really pretty teacups that goes with my colorful pink pile. And they are super thin, so beautiful. And they're made in Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I've got six of those. And then I have these teacups as well. I have two of these. These are the same. These, these are not for my grandmother, but it's the same kind of teacup my grandmother used to have. And I have always liked drinking from them when I was visiting her. They're from Gävle, Sweden. And let's see if you can see. The pattern is called Malin, just like me. So it was like drinking from my own teacups. I have two of those. Then I would like more um, napkins and placemats and stuff. But I have these placemats. And I have these napkins and then and see if you can they feel very Provence I think and then oops wrong wrong way and then I have here I have a pile of placemats and uh, napkins. I have cut. I have cut them, but I haven't sewn them because I didn't have a decent sewing machine. So now these ones I have. I have three sewn here. Yeah. Circular. Two with pink edges, one with white. So I am trying to find more of the white bias tape to finish the last one. But yeah, now I have my sewing machine back. Now I can finish sewing that pile of. Uh, uh, table fabrics, no table, table wear, no table, yeah. Napkins, placemats, table, soft, soft table. I know there's a name for them. I can't for the life of me remember that. Um, now I am going to put these all away. All my pretty plates. This. Ah, this is so pretty. That combination with the patterns. I would really like more of those. Uh, some, some more pink 
pattern plates. It's so pretty. So I, I want to have more different patterns but in the same color scheme. And uh, yeah, again these, the black transfer wear. It's gorgeous but so hard to find. And it's been harder to find these 70s plates than it used to be but I have managed to get myself a pile of those. Um, before we go today I thought I'd uh, show you some footage from last summer. It is much 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 needed. I am I am like winter, the snow, the, the it's so cold and it's so snowy and I can't wait for spring. And my pelagoniums are starting to wake up. Not the ones who died this winter, but like this big one is Swedish Morbacka. Um it's a, tr a very classic Swedish uh, pelagonia and it shows why it is so popular it it grows even now after after winter it looks beautiful so that is actually what i'm uh, what i am finishing off with today uh, we went to a garden it's a private garden but they have showings and they have a summer cafe and they have a um, greenhouse filled with pelagonias Pelagoniums, Pelagonias, and uh, I took the camera with me last summer, so you are going to get a quick look from the Pelagonia greenhouse from the Pelagonia gardens of uh, last year, and I can't wait to go back uh, this summer. I got these two from there. One is one is called Apache Star. And one is, is a Swedish old uh, one called Oxarv. Um, so yeah, I am saying here goodbye and thank you for watching and have a nice weekend and I hope to see you soon again. And uh, yeah. Goodbye. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, they'll hide and seek as long as they please. That's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Watch them, catch them unawares, and see them picnic on the holiday. See them gaily get about, they love to play and shout, they never have any cares. At six o'clock their mummies and daddies will take them home to bed, cause they're tired little teddy bears. Thank you.
If you go down in the woods today, you'd better not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safer to stay at home. For every bear that ever there was, we'll gather there for certain, because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. 